Now, they're supposed to save lives, but fire extinguishers have been condemned as more of a hindrance than a help in one yes, case. Yes, if you can believe it, they've been banned from two blocks of flats in Dorset because of fears that residents might try to tackle a blaze rather than leave the building. Susanna Streeter can tell us a little bit more. Morning, Susanna. Hello, yes, you see them everywhere, don't you? In shops and offices, restaurants and bars. But would you know which one of these would put out a rubbish bin fire? Well, so few of us have had training in how to use an extinguisher that these are being removed from some blocks of flats because firefighters say they could be a fire hazard. They're considered to be life-saving equipment, but residents at these flats are trying to stop their extinguishers being removed. The managers of the building said by trying to put out the flames, residents might delay their escape, particularly if they aren't properly trained. The equipment's already been removed from a block nearby. People living here say taking them away is ridiculous. I'm of the belief that if it could save a life, I mean, bearing in mind that the fire brigade might be taking uh, two or three minutes or perhaps five minutes to get here, and if somebody can whip a fire extinguisher off the wall and fight a fire and maybe save a life, then surely that's got to be um, a good cause for keeping them. Dorset Fire and Rescue have backed the decision to remove the extinguishers. If a fire is growing, it's producing toxic smoke, that's going to be contained within a room and the level of that is going to be coming down. So persons trying to put a growing fire out with portable fire extinguishers with limited capacity will be putting themselves in danger. Residents of the flat say they won't feel safe unless the equipment is there to use in an emergency. Well, Steve Ostridge is here. He's a trainer for UK Fire Training. Steve, these look easy to use, but how complicated can they be? Well, the first thing you have to do is to be able to identify exactly what's burning. Is it solid materials such as the settee or the mattress? Does it involve electrical equipment? Does it involve flammable liquids? And from that, you then need to be able to identify the correct extinguisher to use from an array of extinguishers that all look very similar. So now we've got to choose between water, foam, dry powder, CO2. You've got to make that choice. It can be complicated. We've had a bit of a head start. We've chosen the water extinguisher for this uh, rubbish bin far over here. So once we've identified which one to use, then what, then what do we do? Right, first thing we have to do is remove the anti-tamper sleeve. Then we're going to pull the pin. We need then to aim the nozzle at the base of the fire and squeeze these levers tightly together. OK, you hold this and I'll try and do it. So I pull off this, take out that, like that, and then yeah. that's... We can squeeze like that. that in. OK, well, I've actually yeah. put it out. That's quite good. That, that, do you think that could give a false sense of security, though? It for, can for give people? a false sense of security because we're only using a fire simulator to demonstrate how effective extinguishers can be in trained hands. Do you think they were right to remove these extinguishers? It does appear that they've done a very professional fire risk assessment on the blocks of flats and they've identified the hazards of using extinguishers by untrained people. And this view has been endorsed by the local fire brigade. OK, well, Steve, thanks very much. So, really, the message from fire crews is don't try and fight it alone. Call the fire brigade. Back to All you. right, Susanna, thank you. It is a big idea, a new world order. In the near future, Earth is dominated by a powerful world government. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? For thousands of years, their dark order grew. Now, as they hail the birth of the New World Order, their great dream of exterminating 80% of humanity is at hand. For the first time in history, the elite's plan for world government is blown wide open. You will learn the secret that drives the entire New World Order agenda. Bilderberg is making great progress toward a world government, and only an educated, informed public can stop them in their tracks. Alex, it's Chalabi, eh? For the first time, all the pieces have been put together. The dots have been connected, and the picture is crystal clear. Earth's ruling elite believe they have discovered the fountain of youth. But before they can attain it, 80% of us must die. A psychopathic technocracy is establishing world government so there can be no escape from their plan. The New World Order is the Old World Order. I mean, it's just the names have changed, the appearances have changed.
most people have no idea. They're not after money. They have all the money they need. They're after power. That's their aphrodisiac. I was pulled out of a plane in Munich. They interrogated me four hours. Some shots were fired. I need you to move off the problem. Their great dream of exterminating 80% of humanity is at hand. Endgame, blueprint for global enslavement. You have been warned.